Here we go. 1v1. Oh my gosh, we got him. So the big question in the game is, what is the best Titan in the game? We have two Titans, both very good, but also both very different. So this is obviously the newer Titan, the newer Alpha Titan, called the Matriarch. And it looks like a giant frog, and it has these built-in shotguns with three abilities. And then there's the first Titan that came to the game called the Alpha, or Alpha Kid, whatever you want to call it. You can see... The Alpha has a bit more armor, but the Matriarch has a way more durable core HP, which is like the base HP. But the Alpha also has more speed. So let's, I ran some tests head to head with a player and we kind of determined what was the better Titan depending on the scenario. So this was the first test we ran up. I had the Matriarch, he had the Alpha and he's at range. Like we're pretty far away from each other. And then we counted down and we started firing. We unloaded all of our abilities and we just stood there. And as you can see, as powerful as the Matriarch shotguns are, we were doing no damage to him from this range. And look, all of our armor is torn up right now. His armor is still in the green. And then eventually he picks us apart and the Alpha clearly wins that battle. So that was like a meat, that wasn't even that far of range. I'd call that medium range. And then the second test was super close range. So he was standing right in front of me and we activated and started shooting boom boom so he did activate his death beam which is super powerful but you can see and got him matriarch clearly won that battle so that is kind of what it seems like right matriarch at super close range alpha at medium long range but then let's find out how it kind of compares in battle and let's hop into some gameplay and see what we can do with the alpha kid Alrighty, let's do this. Okay, we're here on Mont map. And I did load up this five shock train build. I have not used shock train in a while. And I imagine this build. I think the shock train actually got buffed. So we'll try this thing out. But we do want to uh unlock, not unlock, activate our alpha alpha kid titan. I feel like it's called alpha, but I like calling it the alpha kid. And let's make a move here. Um yeah, so we do have the regenerate armor, but we got to charge it up here. Oh my gosh. Going up the ramps is so annoying with these robots. Oh, somebody's in center. Okay, I'm dropping the teleporter. Okay, hold it down. Two of them. Okay, armor's broken. Oh, missed that. I'm going to... We got two. Two scourge. There we go. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Yes. Okay, I think we got one of those kills, right? We got one of the, those kills. Man, they must have buffed the Balgasari ability because those rockets do way more damage. Okay, we're grabbing center back. Look, they're getting beacon A. Well, they do have beacon A on the mini map. Okay, secure. Shock Train might have gotten a buff. They seem better than they were before. Okay, let's... Our Titan is 51% charged up. Um, oh, this guy. Oh, we hit him a little bit. You know, actually, let's stay on. Let's stay on here. Yeah, he's taking center. That same guy I think is taking center right now. Different guy. Okay, there we go. Smoked him. So you got to hold down the firing button a little bit to charge these up. Where'd he go? There. Oh, close range. Oh, come on. Okay, got him, got him. Okay, we're on a bit of a kill streak here. I mean, two kills. Ooh, we just grabbed four beacons? No, we're losing E. We're losing beacon E. Ooh, just got sniped. Remember, the shock train, if the enemies are close enough, you'll link and chain damage multiple enemies. Hold down. Man, you really gotta hold down. Jeez, our torso. Torso is torn up. Uh-oh. He's charging me. Come on. Got him, got him. Got him. Ooh, regenerate armor. We're super low HP. I'm a spamming. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, we went down. We died. Okay. Should we drop in? Is our Titan charged up yet? Oh, it is charged. Let's go. 
Let's do this. Okay. Here we are with the matriarch. Here we are with the matriarch. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna... I mean... We're gonna focus on alphas, but... Okay, got him. <laughs> see how much damage these shotguns deal up close? Up close! Whoa! Guys, drop. Oh, this guy's gonna die. One more. Oh, we made a miss. Missed that. Got him. Three kills. Up close, these are by far the most powerful weapons in the game. These matriarch shotguns. But let's... I want to hunt down those enemy alphas. Enemy alpha kids. Remember from the... Remember from the most tests, though, we have to get close. That's how the matriarch is going to do best. Because it's a pretty slow robot, but very durable and very powerful up close. But the bullet spread on the shotguns is garbage. You have to be close to really deal damage. Uh, those are normal bots there. I'm seeing a Fury, Bulgasari. Oh, this guy? What's this guy in? I saw a guy in the minimap. Ah, okay, let's go. That is crazy, man. Okay, come on. I'm waiting for this enemy team to drop in their... Their Titans. Where are those Titans at, man? Five kills. There. Oof, okay. Let's grab center. Can we got a Beacon Bar lead. I'm literally just waiting. The problem is I'm waiting for these enemy Titans to drop in, but my armor is getting a little bit weaker. Every encounter we get. Come on, I'm looking. Oh, there's an... Still not an alpha. Still not an alpha titan. Oh, two guys here. Actually, we can cook this guy with the ability. Bring them both. Remember, this is the nanobot ability. Which one? I love this ability. Man, that nanobot ability is freaking awesome. Oh, did I just see a... Uh, did I just see a uh, alpha there? Maybe not. Yep, there he is. I see him. I saw him. Or Did he just die? No, my teammate died. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's shooting me. Two guys. One more. Oh. Okay, got him. Where is this guy? Here he is. Okay, hit her ability. Here we go. 1v1. We got him. More. Crushed him. Crushed him. See, that is the power of the matriarch up close. From a distance, it's a whole different ball game. Oh, another one, another one. We have to get closer than this, though. Is he running? Bro, why are you running? Is he running away? Oh, death beam. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, we're alive, we're alive. Get him a little bit closer. Here we go. Nanobots. Fire. Got. Kill. Dead. Okay, we've crushed two alpha kids and we're still alive here. Okay, we're gonna heal up too. Another one. Okay, we're on a massive kill streak here. Man. Oh, another one! Another one! Okay, this can be tough if we can take this guy down. We're down like half health and half armor. Oh my gosh, we got him. We got him. Oh, we finally died. We just killed three Alpha Titans. Three Alpha Kid Titans with one Matriarch. Um, let's use this Pulsar build. This is a weird... I actually have not tried our build here. This build yet. I haven't used Pulsar since they came out, and they were pretty underwhelming. Uh-oh. Jeez. Oh! Got the victory. 
we got the win. Okay, that was a pretty good game. So that was a pretty good 4.2 million. That was a pretty good indication. If you can get close, the Matriarch is the best robot in the game, best Titan in the game by far. But I think the Alpha Kid is more versatile, where you can use it at medium range, long range, and you can do more things with it, plus it has more speed. So my pick personally would be the Alpha Kid, but if you can get the Matriarch close, nothing will beat it. Peace, Cheese McMuffins.